Yo, what up? This a new video right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all. Shit is about to get real. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. It's about to get real up in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm ready to do this shit. I'm so fucking happy to do this shit. I'm going to do this shit. It's going to be some fucking truth. No lies. 100% the motherfucking truth. Yeah, y'all. I'm about to expose this fuck boy right here. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. Mr. Sauce Man X. That's right. Now, I'm talking about this fuck boy again. You know what I mean? Because what made me want to do this video was last night. Shout out to my homeboy Gold Rag. He actually hit me up on my Gmail account, you know, um, trying to let me know what was going on and why the fuck I had dislikes on my um latest video that I made last night. Um, letting people know why I think AZ is one of the most underrated lyricists of all time. When I made the video, it had like fucking two likes and five dislikes. I was like, what the fuck is all the dislikes for? And come to find out that... It was from Mr. Sauce Man X and his fucking goons. So yeah, Mr. Sauce Man X was so man enough to get his goons to come after me and my friend Gold Rag, trying to tarnish our name, trying to make our fans look like we were corny. But guess what? It ain't going to fucking happen. Mr. Fagboy X has brought the anger out of me, man. And on Sunday, it's my birthday, and I am not having this shit. I'm going to get fucking down and dirty with this motherfucker right here. I'm going to let him know who he fucking with. He's fucking with KRD1999. This nigga don't know who he's fucking with. He's fucked up big time. So when you get your goons on me, I'm going to have to get my goons on you. And they're going to fucking do you when you bastard. So I'm about to get a bomb on this nigga. I'm about to get a destroy this nigga. I'm going to go in on this motherfucker. I'm going to tell the exact truth about this motherfucker. Some that y'all might know, some y'all might not even know. But guess what? It is here, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Now, with this coward right here, um, Mr. Fagboy X, well, his fucking um, dick rider, his boyfriend, that bitch-ass nigga White Lord, was back at it, running his mouth, you know, talking all that bullshit about me. You know, tell the motherfuckers lies about me, saying that, oh, my father was abusive to me. Oh, Immobiliary uh, One was like a father figure. Oh, I um, I out um, talking about I, I teamed up with Mister Miss Anthropic once to you know take down Gold Rag. Oh, um, I'm a fucking classic homosexual. None of that shit is true. Don't believe what that fuckboy White Lord say out of his damn mouth. None of that shit that he said about me. It was it, all the shit that he said about me was fucking lies. I'm not no fucking homosexual. Immobiliary one was never my father figure. I already have a father. My father's still alive. My father was never abusive to me. I never worked with Mr. Anthropic One to help take down my homeboy Gold Rat. Nigga, you just saying that shit. Just to make yourself look good. Just to make yourself look big. After I fucked you up on the last couple of videos that I made about you last month. But you start here talking that bullshit. You, you out first. Nigga, you should remember this. Who's the fucking person who came to me crying like a little bitch? You was, White Lord. Nigga, you the one who came to my fucking channel. Kept on begging me, talking to me about Gold Rack. I was like... What, like, what, nigga, what the fuck is you talking about? Like, do, do you even know Gold Rag? Because I asked Gold Rag, do, you, do, do he know your stupid ass? Gold Rag told me no. Gold Rag don't never knew a nigga by the name of White Lord. So y'all pussy niggas couldn't even fucking come, come up with a comeback, White Lord. So you couldn't come up with a fucking comeback. You couldn't roast nobody. So what you did was that you fucking hacked Gold Rag's account like a fucking bastard that you is, man. Talking shit to our mouth. You kept on fucking asking me and asking me and asking me on my fucking dick. Talking about, oh, 
Oh, yo, Smash, man, I need your help, man. Can you help me expose the rain? rain, 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 rain. But you out here talking that shit, talking about, oh, I'm a fucking bitch. I made Gold Rat commit suicide. Nigga, why the fuck is you lying about motherfuckers? Stop talking shit about somebody that you don't even fucking know. There's no way in hell that I made go rat commit suicide. I'm not fucking stupid like that. I will never make nobody kill themselves. Because I know better. Nigga, you out here making assumptions about people that you don't even know. Because you know why? Because you don't know my life, nigga. I suggest you better step the fuck back. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know me. Because you want you, like Jay-Z said, you're going to be the next contestant up that summer jam screen. Do you want that? Do you really want that shit to happen to you? Get the fuck out of my face with that bullshit, white lord. Because you know who the fuck you are. You kept on crying to me about Gold Rack. Like, why the fuck is you on Gold Rack's dick for? Like, nigga, you got a fucking crush on him or something? Like, you saying Gold Rack this, Gold Rack that. Nigga, what, who, do you even know Gold Rack, nigga? No, you don't. Like, keep Gold Rag name out your fucking mouth and keep my name out your fucking mouth, man. Simple as that. Nigga, if you don't like what the fuck I'm saying to you, do me a favor. Nigga, go fuck yourself. Get a dick in your mouth. Do that. Because you ain't going to be fucking, you know, coming on the fucking internet to tarnish my fucking name, disrespecting me like you're going to do something, like you're going to fucking hurt me. Like, nigga, you ain't fucking affecting me. You ain't threatening to nobody, pussy. You ain't intimidating. You better get your bitch ass on with that bullshit. Fuck out of here. Talk about oh you like because I was like I was about to go to bed and Goat Rag told me that you and Mr. Sauce Man X was on the verge of taking me and him down so y'all niggas can rise. Nigga, no, that ain't gonna fucking happen. Mr. Fag Boy X and White Lord, y'all never gonna be on top. Okay, so get that out your fucking head, white lord. Yeah, I said, it. you punk ass nigga, you ain't the fucking lord. You ain't you ain't the lord of shit with your fucking bullshit ass channel, man. The fuck out of niggas need to terminate your punk ass too. Always up in the mix. Always wanna fucking lie about niggas that you don't even know. Like leave niggas alone. Which like when somebody make up a lie about you, you will start chronic little female. You coward ass nigga. Now enough of this fuck face. Let's talk about this punk ass nigga, Mr. Fagboy X. AKA Mr. Sauce Man X. Y'all gosh must know who this fuck boy is. The piece of shit who pretty much terminated EP's channel and my channel. Oh for a fucking opinion. Nigga, for no fucking reason. Cause this kid just mad cause he has no life. He thinks everything will go his way. I mean, like, this this kid is so fucking incoherent. He's stupid. He's immature. I mean, like, he's egotistical. Like, he really thinks he runs YouTube. Like, nigga, you don't run shit. You don't run shit with your fucking mouth, man. So, I might as well, you know, drop some, you know, exposure on Mr. Fagboy X. Let everybody know who the fuck he is. And, yeah. For you fucking Mr. Sauce Man X um dick riders, I gotta say this, y'all. Um, this video right here, I'm about to get exposed, y'all hero. So I'm about to get tell the exact truth about this clown. So after y'all finish watching this video, go unsubscribe to Mr. Fagboy X. Go unsubscribe to Mr. Sauce Man X now. Cause I'm about to get let you Mr. Sauce Man X fans know that how much of a fake and the fraud and the piece of shit he is. You know what I'm saying? And y'all gonna fucking support me now. You know what I mean? Like I'm gonna expose him. Y'all not gonna believe half. I mean like like I said before. I'm gonna expose this motherfucker. I'm gonna tell the exact truth about this hypocrite. Letting all you Mr. Sauce Man X fans know. To unsubscribe to him. Cause I'm gonna get expose him. For being a fucking hypocrite. A piece of shit. A fraud. A liar and an egotistical bastard he is. You know what I'm saying? So, Mr. Sauce Man X calls EDP a racist. But every time you watch a fucking video from Mr. Sauce Man X, he always got used the fucking N-bomb. 
Like, every motherfucking day he makes a video, he always got to say the word nigga. Like, why the fuck Mr. Sauceman X got the nerve to call EDP a racist, but he say the N-word his damn self? That comes to show you that Mr. Sauceman X is the biggest piece of shit in planet Earth. You know what I mean? Watch the fucking Mr. Sauceman X video, you see what I'm talking about. He copies off EDP's mannerisms and how the way he posts out his videos. You know how EDP make a video, we say this. What's up, motherfuckers, your boy, eat that pussy 445. Back at you niggas with another goddamn video. This is Mr. Sauce Man X. What's up, motherfuckers, your boy, Sauce Man X. Back at you motherfuckers with another goddamn video. See the fucking comparison right there? That comes to show that Mr. Fagboy X is the EDP copycat. He says that he is not an EDP 445 copycat, but he actually is. Now, every time you watch a video from Mr. Sauceman X or EDP, you can tell the fucking comparison that he is copying. So, yeah. What the fuck is Mr. Fagboy X talking about? Also, Mr. Sa Mr. Sauceman X, he terminated 22 motherfucking channels who was talking shit about him. Even before the whole EDP shit. When back when Mr. Sauceman X was a fucking unknown faggot, when every time he always he always want to talk shit about everybody else, but when somebody make a video calling his punk ass out, he can't come up with a fucking comeback or a fucking roast video or exposure. So he wants to terminate motherfuckers, man. Like that's your problem. He likes to start shit with people. When somebody get his neck, he's going to fucking start crying and start snitching on YouTube. Like, this motherfucker is taking advantage of the YouTube's fucking flagging system. But he talking about he didn't, but he's actually doing it. I mean, he not just only flagged me and EDP, he flagged 22 motherfucking channels. Can y'all fucking believe this shit? You see what the fuck I'm talking about? This dumbass nigga, man. Mr. Fagboy X. It comes to show that this punk ass nigga have no fucking life at all, man. And also, he creates so many fake accounts to pretend that he has real subscribers. See, Mr. Sauceman X talking about he has real fans. But when you look at his fucking, you know, his ratings and shit like that, um, you know, and his subscribers, you know, thing, he has fucking 4,000 motherfucking subscribers on his channel the whole time. He always talking about he was going to reach 10K by the end of August. But this bitch ass nigga never did. He never hit 10K subscribers. He will never do that shit. So, we was, everybody was wondering how how the fuck did Mr. Sauceman X have all those fucking subscribers. Well, guess what guys? I have to say it is. He created those subscribers. He created so many YouTube accounts. I don't know how fucking long he did that shit, but he created so much accounts and make, to make himself look good and to make himself want the subscribers that EDP got. He, this kid, Mr. Sauceman X, has no real subscribers. How the fuck he has? How the fuck does Mr. Sauceman X has real subscribers? But when everybody dislikes his fucking videos and fucking roasts the shit off him, talking about he's the worst YouTuber of all time, he's a bitch, his videos suck. This nigga know he ain't got no real fans. He cre he created those fans, man. Y'all get what I'm saying? I'm telling the fucking truth. I'm not lying. And and what else? See, this is what make this bitch ass nigga look even worse. He likes to disrespect and make fun of people who has autism. Y'all guys know that I have autism myself. You know what I mean? This punk ass nigga, every time somebody is fucking calling his bitch ass out, he always gotta bring up the fucking word autistic. It's like, nigga, do you, do you, he like, he thinks talking shit about autistic people is very cool and fun for him. When it's actually in real life, it's actually not. Because what the fuck is this nigga... What if somebody in his family got autism? Would he like when somebody make fun of them? Hell no! This nigga is not supposed to make fun of people who's autistic. 
this nigga needs to be fucking smacked. I mean, he always calling people autistic, but when somebody call him autistic, he ain't gonna like it. But he realized that he's autistic his damn self. I mean, like, he probably has somebody in his family who has autism, but he don't want to fucking admit it. At least I admit that I'm autistic, but this bitch-ass nigga, he's too pussy to even say it. Let me fuck out of here. The nigga is fucking stupid. He's a fraud. He's a coward. He's a two-faced bitch. Y'all Mr. Sauceman X fans, y'all should unsubscribe to him as of right now. I don't know why y'all fucking liking this shit. I mean, like, I don't understand why the fuck people, like, why y'all subscribe to him? Like, the nigga's fucking ass. Like, he sucks dick. He's the worst YouTuber of all time. Fuck. And he also held a grudge against Eat That Pussy 445 since he was only 12 years old. Oh my god. This motherfucker, Mr. Sauceman X, held a grudge against EDP for four fucking years. Ever since this kid was only 12 fucking years old. And this motherfucker only 16. Damn, I'm only 17 years old. I'm about to turn 18 on Sunday. How the fuck you would held a grudge against EDP for all that long? I mean, like, dog. If you don't like EDP channel, why the fuck, first of all, why are you on his channel? Why the fuck are you even watching his shit or commenting on his videos? Like, you're probably too late jerking off to him because you know why? Because you want to be just like him. And this nigga was talking all that bullshit about EDP. But guess what, y'all? Why the fuck did I see Mr. Sauceman X was um being subscribed to EDP's backup channel, Taste This 2-Inch Dick 445 Julio? He don't want to explain that. Oh, no. He don't want to explain that shit. This nigga was talking all that bullshit about EDP. The day EDP got terminated. The day we made that video talking about we talking all that bullshit about EDP. Why the fuck I saw him being subscribed to EDP? This motherfucker think I wouldn't know, huh? huh? Too bad. He also disrespected the people who died on 9-11. That guy must know about that tragic moment that happened in New York back in September 11th, 2001. The Twin Towers, a.k.a. the World Trade Center, burned down. A lot of people lost their families. Some people survived. It was a very sad day for America around the time. You know what I mean? I like to say rest in peace to the people who, was, who passed away during that incident. I like to say keep your head up to the people who, was, who survived or lost their family members and stuff like that. Because that was a crazy moment, you know what I mean? But this motherfucker, he don't care about that shit. Like, he made a fucking video talking shit about the motherfuckers, the people who died in that incident. Like, and he, and, and just because of that, he got fucking, he was on strike because of that shit. That's his problem. He makes fucking videos, but doesn't think what the fuck he's even talking about or even fucking uploading. This nigga just uploads shit just to get fucking views, attention, and more, 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 more motherfucking hate. You know what I'm saying? And he promotes terrorism. Yes, we all know the Saddam Hussein, Osama Bin Laden, look like motherfucker support. He promotes terrorism because he's a fucking terrorist. Somebody in his family probably terrorist. He, say, he says that he's Mexican, but he doesn't look Mexican. I mean, he looks Saudi, Saudi Arabian. I mean, fuck out of here. Like, he's lying about himself. He doesn't want to admit that he's a terrorist. He don't want to admit that he grew up in a terrorist family, but yet he wants to call EDP a racist. But this kid is a fucking racist himself, man. This kid, he knows that the shit is going to fucking backfire on his pussy ass. You know what I mean? I mean, like... And this nigga had the fucking nerve to disrespect Tupac, Dick Rod, Eminem. I mean, he talking about, he was calling Tupac a bitch, saying that, oh, Tupac is a Yeah, y'all, um, sorry for the inconvenience, you know what I'm saying? Um, for some obvious reason, my fucking voice recorder just popped off of me for no apparent reason. So, I'm back at it again, everything's worked out, you know what I'm saying? So, we're going to get this shit popping. It's still continuing. We back. You know what I mean? We still finishing off this punk ass nigga, Mr. Sauceman X. You know what I mean? We fucking this nigga up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Just telling the truth. 
I'm just telling the exact truth about this fuck boy right here. He done fucked around and caught a bad one. You know what I mean? So this nigga is so tough enough to get his fucking goons to take my shine. But guess what? It ain't going to fucking happen because I'm still standing. I'm not going nowhere. It could be a fucking nightmare to him. But nigga, when you fuck with me, you fuck with my fans, dog. But guess what? Let's go back and continue what the fuck I got to say about your bitch ass. You know what I mean? So, um, like I say, promotes terrorism like a bitch. You know what I mean? He all know that he's coming from a, a terrorist background because he probably from Saudi Arabia or India or Myanmar, somewhere in the, you know, country. So, this nigga, he's lying about himself. Like, he knows damn well he ain't Mexican. Like, nigga, if you saying that you black, why the fuck you, why the fuck you look Indian? Like, almost everybody been calling your bitch ass out saying that you're a fucking Indian piece of shit. Like, learn how to fucking watch your mouth, man. Because you ain't black, you ain't hardcore, you ain't street, you ain't fucking gangster. So, get out your fucking head, man. Just because you watch EDP doesn't make you think you could be like him. Like, nigga, there's only one EDP, and that's the EDP 445 we all know about. So, fuck her at that bullshit, son. Also, I know this nigga, one of these niggas, call me fucking homosexual. Nigga, if I'm a homosexual, then what the fuck is this picture? Huh? Explain this shit. Explain that. Who's the fucking homosexual? You are. So you was this dumb enough. You were so fucking single. I mean, you have no life at all. So you decide to take a fucking picture of your penis. Oh my god. That comes sure that this kid is gay. He's gross. He's disgusting. He's a fucking. He's imma, he's an immature fuck. I mean, like I don't understand why the hell he's on YouTube. And you talk and you calling the EDP poor. But yet yeah, EDP has more success than you. EDP gets more money than you. EDP has a job unlike you. EDP was on TV a million times more than you. EDP gets more bitches than you. EDP got more fans than you will ever have in your fucking life. So, stop talking that shit. Tell me you better than EDP and grow some fucking subscribers. Do that. You obviously not. Because you're going to see you stuck with the same bullshit. Like, nobody don't want to fucking watch your piece of shit. Nobody don't want to fucking hear you bragging boast like a fucking female every time you make a video talking that bullshit about politics. Like, nigga, what the fuck do you know about politics, nigga? This ain't CNN. And you talking about, you you scared to admit that you're an EDP copycat, but you come out nowhere with your fucking mouth talking about you want to be Stephen A. Smith. Like, nigga, you are not fucking Stephen A. Smith. You don't know shit about sports. Master your question. The only, well, let me say this. The only way for you to start talking shit about sports is when you know how to when you when you need to learn how to pick up a fucking basketball. Do that. Have you ever picked up a basketball, dribble it, or shoot? No, hell no, you didn't. You probably ass at ball, nigga. I'll probably finish your fucking career off. If you was playing 2K. You saying that 2K is garbage, nigga? Then why the fuck is you playing NBA 2K13? Throw that shit out for fucking garbage, man. Or take that shit back. Because you know why? Because you fucking ass. You will never be Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith is way better than your fucking punk ass. Stephen A. Smith is more funny and more entertaining to watch unlike you. Listen, dog. The only reason why you are getting clout is because of EDP. That's it. Get it to your fucking head. You want views because of EDP. Because we all know EDP e is a popular YouTuber. Nigga, you a fucking nobody. Y'all yeah, know you're going to talk about, oh, I'm a fucking nobody. Nigga, I know that. Nigga, at least I admit I'm a fucking nobody. Hell, I'm going to be a somebody one day if we keep on talking that bullshit. Nigga, I'm going to be your fucking nightmares the rest of your fucking day when you watch this bitch. When you watch this fucking video, man. I'm telling you, man. Watch your fucking mouth, man. Nigga, this is not fucking Twitter. I mean, you so quick to talk all that bullshit about me on Twitter, but when it comes to YouTube, you don't you don't want to say shit. You too scared, like motherfucker. This ain't Twitter, man. Say that shit about me on YouTube and see what happens to your bitch ass. Oh, matter of fact, nigga, you lucky. You you real, Mr. Sauce Man X. You real lucky that I live far away. Cause you know why? Cause if if I lived around your block, if I met you in person, oh yeah. I'm going to whoop your fucking ass. You're going to get something that was coming to you, man. 
Straight up, I'm gonna beat your fucking ass if I met you in person. Or come to Philly and talk all that fucking bullshit about me and EDP and see what's gonna happen to your bitch ass. I'm telling you, you don't wanna fuck with us Philly niggas. EDP from California, but he's the, but he is one of the best Eagles fans that we ever had. It make him seem that he's a part of our Philadelphia family, man. Something that will never happen to you. You know what I mean? Because everybody in Philly loves EDP. Okay? We love EDP. We fucks with that nigga. We, everybody fucking enjoy EDP. But you took all the fun away from everybody. Because your bitch ass is so fucking bitter and old. And just you want that success. You want that fucking popularity. You want to be on TV. You want to get the bitches. You want to get the money. You, you just mad because EDP was on the fucking radio. Unlike you. You just mad because you wasn't on TV. So, uh, don't talk shit about EDP now. You can't do half the shit that he's done. You just mad because EDP accomplished more shit than you ever will in your fucking life. So, get the hell out of here with that bullshit. Okay? Like I said, come to Philly and talk all that fuck EDP bullshit and see what happens to you. Them Eagles fans will fucking murder you, dog. Straight up. They'll stomp you the fuck out. And yes, I'm an Eagles fan. And I'll be a part of the whole fiasco too if I have a chance. So I'll fucking put a fucking boot in your mouth. I'll give a damn. Then you're going to be bloody. From all that fucking, that, that big, with your big ass mouth, man. You ain't getting nowhere, man. Like, nigga, stop being a fucking hater. Get the fuck off YouTube. Do that. Pussy. So, when you like to get your fucking goons on me, guess what? I'm about to get my fucking goons on you. How about that shit, bitch? So yeah, you done fucked up. You done fucked up big time. I destroyed your punk ass. You done. You are fucking over it. You, your, your career is done. You, you finished, man. Get the fuck out of here. Bye. Go fade into our security. And go sit next to a fucking grave for whack 100, bitch ass. Because y'all both y'all going to be buddy buddies one day. So yeah. Since you'd like to... Uh, so try to disrespect autistic people, disrespect my cousin and see what happens to you. Disrespect some of my friends who has autism and see what happens to you. These autistic people know how to fight. They know how to kick ass. They'll kick your fucking ass. We will have you fucking run to your fucking mommy. Chase your ass home for school every day. You won't like that shit. So stop talking all that bullshit about somebody that is way better than you. Whatever be in your fucking life. Yeah, I know you're going to watch this video. Yeah, I know you're going to fucking dislike this, but I don't give a fuck because I'm actually telling the fucking truth about your ass wipe ass, man. I mean, f fuck that. About your fucking no life having ass, man. You you talking shit about EDP, poor, but nigga, you can't even fucking afford a haircut. You scared to come out the fucking house. No wonder why that UFO, you know, went into your fucking block. They, they was about to carry a duck your bitch ass, man. For terminating EDP and terminating my shit. You done fucked around and made your best run. It's over. You just experienced karma, bastard. So yeah, folks. That was it for the fucking video. I about had enough with this fucking clown ass nigga. You know what I mean? So, I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna say this a fucking again. So y'all niggas didn't even wanna listen. For this is a message to all you Mr. Sauce Man X subscribers. I hope y'all watching this video. I hope y'all learn a lot. Here are why I'm why I'm exposing him. I'm telling the exact truth, letting y'all know why he's a fucking a fraud and a bastard and a piece of shit and a hypocrite. So once y'all watch this video, it's gonna make y'all unsubscribe to that fuck that fucking punk. Yeah. After y'all finish watching this video, you hear the fuck I said? Go unsubscribe to him. And everybody, go roast the fuck out of Mr. Fagboy X as much as you can. Let's see how you going fucking. Let's see how he's going to witness this bullshit. When he fucked with me, he fucked up with my fans. So yeah, folks, that was it for the video. Fuck Mr. Sauce Man X. So yeah, he just got exposed big time. So yeah, folks, that was it for the video. Give me your thoughts in the comment box as always. Hope y'all enjoy it. Salute.